Think of your favorite author from any type of literature and why he or she is your favorite. Whether it's Stephen King for his thrilling storytelling, J.K. Rowling for her creative figurative language, or Ray Bradbury for his brilliant symbolism, your author choice most likely derives from their literary style. An author's style may comprise of a variety of literary devices in order to allow their work to have a distinct feel. Flannery O'Connor, a well-known and reputable author, is best known for her Southern Gothic style. This style of literature features flawed characters who are put into sinister situations. O'Connor's writing often explores religion and morality and features the two aspects conflicting in a horrific way. These aspects apply directly to O'Connor's Wise Blood novel and his protagonist and plot. Through Wise Blood's unusual facets, such as its characters, mood, and symbols, O'Connor presents her literary style to her readers. O'Connor features a variety of deranged characters within the novel. The protagonist, Hazel Motes, is an unbeliever who turns to nihilism and harms himself. Enoch Emery is an animalistic fool who latches on to Hazel as a friend. Aza Hawks is a dark figure who poses as a begging blind preacher for money. Through these three characters, O'Connor intentionally exaggerates them in a stylistic manner in order to portray a connection to the real world. As Wiseblood was published in 1952 during post-war America, a separation between Christians and secular forces became prominent. O'Connor purposely presents these comical yet pathetic characters in an effort to serve as distinctions to a greater worldwide purpose. Writers Jan Witt and John C. Insko describe O'Connor's writing style within Wiseblood by stating, Through violent, perverse, and monstrous images, she depicts a landscape characterized by sin, guilt, and judgment. As Mood describes how readers are made to feel, the novel grotesquely features disturbing texts to make the reader feel disturbed themselves. A writer by the name of Lewis A. Lawson describes O'Connor's unconventional ways of dealing with fiction by stating that she was uninterested in the felicities of conventional fiction and felt completely free to use absurdity, paradox, and illogicality. O'Connor combines elements of death, evil, darkness, sin, and grotesque to form a disturbing yet appealing tone to the reader. As O'Connor writes Wiseblood as a farce, a novel with a combination of comedy and tragedy, she stylistically features a variety of symbols to represent different meanings. For example, O'Connor features Hazel's broken down car as a symbol to represent Hazel himself. The car's shabby shape corresponds to Hazel's personal and spiritual decay. O'Connor also presents coffins as a symbol of doom. As coffins serve as a reoccurring element, it represents Hazel's fate. Perhaps O'Connor's most important symbol is her parallel between the symbols of sight and blindness. Hazel's nickname of Hayes is appropriate as his vision leads him into a world of sin. However, once Hazel blinds himself with quicklime, O'Connor presents Hazel as an individual with greater clarity than before. O'Connor has looked upon William Faulkner as being one of her greatest influences for her writing style. Through their southern style, both authors often present a civility within their work. However, under this lies a style of impure motives, slanderous gossip, and hidden immorality. O'Connor's wise blood operates on the level of the subconscious, including knowledge, beliefs, and attitudes on life. Through O'Connor's stylistic writing with unique characters, moods, symbols, sentence structure, and figurative language, she brilliantly allows the reader to interpret the novel in a variety of ways. Created using Powtoon.